What up, YouTube and Facebook and everybody? As you can see, those hands right there. It is Raina. About to show y'all how to get down in the kitchen. What you making, baby? Oh, you out here blinging. <laughs> bring it down a little bit so I can see it. There you go. It's glistening. It's like glistening. Mm -hmm. It actually looks like a cleanser or something. Anyway, guys, so today we're going to be making some <laughs> mushroom soup. I really wanted to have like a, a wide variety of mushrooms and some broth and just yumminess. As you can possibly tell, my voice is kind of lost from our fun deadlift party this weekend, our last weekend in Houston. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I already started chopping up some or slicing up some shallots, as you see here. I want to go ahead and continue doing that. So I got this handy dandy, oh, shiitake. I got this handy dandy, um slicer so we're gonna go ahead and continue slicing what we can safely I don't know if you can you can't okay so I need a, I need a left-hander maybe I should have Najee doing this huh there we go I'm just gonna get that out the way So I want these nicely thinly sliced, which is why I'm using a slicer like that. It's not just for aesthetics, but it actually just kind of helps with the, the paste. We're starting off with shallots. And I'm going to be putting a lot of shallots in this dish because I love shallots. But you don't have to use shallots. You could also just use um, sweet onions, white onions, whatever. This is gonna be a, kind of an Asian inspired dish. I wouldn't, I don't know if I should say it's actually an Asian dish, but it's certainly Asian inspired. So let's go ahead and there you guys can see it a little bit better now. You see, baby? Which was the goal? So look how pretty these. Oh, yeah, focus. Oh <laughs> no! Should I put it over there? Cause I don't even know where that. that one up. All right. Well, let me go ahead and just start getting those in. So we're gonna just get all these sliced up. This one still looks a little thick, so I'm gonna slice that myself. And I have these extra ones, kind of like leftover that so I don't accidentally cut myself and I'm still going to use those but for the meantime in between time we're going to just do this side Get that in there. Hi, y'all. I don't know who's commenting. It just says Facebook user. But these are shallots. Yeah, so when you all are in the face, if y'all are on Facebook and Facebook groups, drop your name. Yeah, say your name. Because it only shows Facebook user to us. So say who you are. Introduce yourself. Hey, y'all. This is Jessica from Chicago. What is that you're cooking? <laughs> Follow those directions. Mm 
All right, we're gonna get a couple more of these beautiful slices in. Hi, Bindi. Nice to see you, baby. We'll see you on Thursday. I just got back from Houston. We just got back from Houston. <laughs> oh, <my God>. okay. <laughs> These are looking nice and pretty. I just love shots. All right. Eyeball starting to burn. You know it's working. It ain't real unless your eyes burn. It's not real unless your eyes start to burn. Okay. Let's test out this other angle like that. Yes. I am Chi. Hello, Mama. <laughs> What's up, Stephanie? Stephanie. No, oh, Stephanie Nunn. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, I hope you're healing well. Stephanie, she's going to have the uh, um, uh, laser surgery, I believe, the vision surgery. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, baby. She's uh, got her vision. We need that too. Yeah. Someone restore me. Definitely going by our current client. Implant, right. Yeah, so this, uh, this is an implant. We are making a mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. A mushroom veggie soup with lots of shallots. Oh, shout out to my mom because she makes such great Asian inspired soups that she likes to call herself a Thai Rican. Oh, okay. Thai food and Puerto Rican food. Because she has Puerto Rican food in the mix and um, she loves Thai food. All right, okay. so here's her shallots. We got those out the way. Najee's now about to show us, show you guys some of the mushrooms that we'll be using in our mushroom dish. Mm -hmm. So first we have the uh, yellow oyster mushroom. Can't really tell, but. Can't really tell. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and switch it up for y'all. Let's switch up the angle. Yep. Mm -hmm. so we got over there. Right there. Yellow oyster mushroom. Mm -hmm. So, let's put it back down. And then we have the wood ear mushrooms. Wood ear mushrooms. I love wood ear mushrooms in ramen dishes. Mm -hmm. Sh Shiitake mushrooms. King oyster mushrooms, sliced. I also have uh, lion's mane, but we're not using that today. We're not using that right now. So now that we've shown the mushrooms, let's go ahead and start getting the mushrooms washed and prepared so we can start working. Okay, let's get back over here. So we're gonna start washing the woodier mushrooms. So here's our woodier. I don't know if you've ever did you get ever find? No, I did it, Mom. These mushrooms look wild. They look like bats. They look like bats. They smell like bats too. Oh God, for real? Mm. No, you're not gonna like it. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure that no ends need to be cut off. Nothing hard sticking out. Can you throw us away for me, babe? No, I didn't find that, Mom. I don't know why they didn't have it. This root she wanted me to use that was gonna be really tasty. She used it. Down. She used it in the soup she made us when she came to Texas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like Who said that? I don't know. 
I'm a guest company. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not. What's up, Dendi? So if you're on YouTube, we can see what you're saying and who you are. But if it's Facebook, every time you comment, no matter who it is, it looks like Facebook users. So I don't know for sure who you are unless you say something that's like clearly my mother and then I know it's her. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, y'all can see right there actually on the comment. It says Facebook users, so that's how it shows up for us. You can see it. But um, right there. Ooh, yeah. So I'm going through just making sure these all... Oh, this one's got, this one, it literally looks like some type, put her here, babe. Mm -hmm. Put it on this one. It literally looks like some sort of alien, honestly. <laughs> like, it reminds me, I love it, actually. I'm just such a weirdo, but like. That's crazy. And this is edible. <laughs> yes. In fact, I really enjoy these mushrooms. Mm -hmm. They're one of my favorite mushrooms. Look at that. Interesting. Yeah, that is like a sort of. All right, babe. So I need you to wash this one, these. Mm -hmm. And as you wash those, we can start getting everything going. I got to chop these up. So now she's going to wash these. He's going to rinse them off really good and squeeze and squish them. And then we're going to pat them dry. While he's doing that, I'm going to start slicing up the shiitake mushrooms and getting these ready. Ooh. Then we're going to wash the shiitake mushrooms. Looks like a bat. I know, Bendy. That's what I was saying. It looks so much like a bat. Mom, did you ever eat fruit bat soup? Oh, God. I'm serious. I know. You said it was in Guam, right? Yeah, in Guam. This is definitely, I now realize why I eat with my... <laughs> But mom, have you ever had fruit bat soup? You said you'd be leery to eat that. Eat what, the, um, the woodier mushrooms? So I'm chopping off this right now. The stems to our shiitake mushroom. And I'm gonna slice these. No to the nah. <laughs> yeah, she said no, she's not had, uh, she didn't eat the fruit bat soup. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what no to the nah means, but she know. <laughs> I guess she meant hail to the nah. <laughs> If anyone's gonna get something clean, it's gonna be Najee. Yes, this is Stephanie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not leery. I, I love wood ear mushrooms. They're delicious. They're meaty. They taste good. They just, some things just don't look as comfortable for people when they first see how things are produced or made, you know? They're like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to eat that? So we're gonna chop up all our mushrooms and make sure we have a nice amount of every mushroom we can. So now that Nash is done with that, we're, uh, he's actually just got done washing the woodier. He's gonna put them in here and we're gonna then pass him the shiitake mushrooms to wash. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, just because this is soup and veggies does not mean we're not gonna work this out. This will be Great. You want to put the, you can put the measuring. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right yep. I was going to say, I'm going to show you the supper video so that you're not going to be stressed about weighing it. So, we have our handy dandy food scale right here. And you just set whatever container that you're going to be putting everything in right on top of there and turn it on. We're gonna weigh out everything in grams. So change your mode. It may be on you know pounds or ounces.
analysis or whatever, keep clicking until you see a G. Or maybe it says G on depend depending on what type of food scale you have. The zero, some scales say tar or tear. You just reset that so that it don't count the weight of whatever you're weighing uh, your foods in. Make sure that's on zero. And then you can start putting your actual whatever you're weighing on top of it. So we're going to take all of our mushrooms, since we're going to be using all of them, put them right on top. So that is exactly 200 grams of mushrooms, wood ear mushrooms. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And while I'm doing that, let me show you all one more step. Can I? Oh, you want to uh, take to this off? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'll move that. 200 grams of wood ear mushrooms. Now, what we're going to do is. Uh, I'm in your way. No. I don't know if you can do it right now. We, uh, it's, well, okay. All right. So I got the app open. This is the Good Bob Plants Coaching app. I just tap on nutrition, tap on add for dinner, and then I can just tap search and put in wood. search it's going to find some for me and then I find one that fits with your mushrooms tap on serving change that to grams and then I put in 200 grams and 200 grams of wood ear mushrooms that whole container is only 50 calories and tap add all right wow so just do that for this whole container is only 50 calories. 50 calories for all that food. It's full value. That's the benefit of weighing your foods because it shows you how much you can actually eat. Right? So now we know that, that that's 50 calories and we can do that with each of the other ingredients. So just so you know, while Nigel's doing that, I'm patting the mushrooms dry. Mm -hmm. um, you might want to change it to the side. It's a little hard to see. Okay. I'm patting the mushrooms dry so that they're not so wet. And then I'm gonna move this to the side. Now, it'd probably be best for us to wait it while it's actually not wet because it's gonna be absorbing the water. So I'm gonna put this here to zero grams. We're gonna put the shiitake mushrooms in here before we wash them so we know the number there. And that's 153 grams. Mind you, this is gonna be enough for like four or five people, just so you know. So it's not what you should make just for yourself. Also, mom, um, she said that. They didn't. They do make fruit bat soup in Guam, but it wasn't fruit bat soup that she was like talking about. Mm -hmm. It there's a fruit bat with all his hair and his beady little eyes mm -hmm. on a tray like a roasted pig, and oh, it was hard wow. pass for me. Oh, so wow. I was born in Guam, and my mom uh, assimilated quite well, except for that part, I guess. Here, baby, I'm gonna rinse these off. Mm -hmm. It's a quick rinse and a shake. A quick rinse and a shake off. We don't have bellows. Those are um, shiitakes. All right, so now with the oyster mushrooms, I'm going to cut off the harder part here. And get that out the way. Beautiful. Open that up. Same on this side, cut off the super hard part. If there's any other super hard part, get that off. I think I'm gonna break this up though. There we go. Same here. So you see there's a lot of extra stuff here, so I still want all that. 
just gonna get that out the way. Great. And we'll put that in there. And this is 165 grams here. And this was? 156. We're going to take some um, paper towels and we're going to go ahead and rinse this out or squeeze out the extra water in this. So now I'm not just going to rinse this one and I'm going to add the shiitake mushrooms that I just squeezed out all that excess water into this. Just rinse this one. There's that. We need everything. Clean off this right here. These are a lot harder. Yeah, so you're gonna have to. You're, yeah, so we're gonna have to cook those first. So squeeze out all the water for me, baby. Like really squeeze it without like breaking it, but like get it. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is start working on the bok choy. The bok choy is super dirty. We get this, all of our stuff from an Asian grocery store and they are literally picking it right out the back door. So I'm going to start breaking up the bok choy leaves and then I'm gonna pass the sanaji as soon as he's done with the mushrooms so he's gonna to really wash these really well. And I'm gonna rinse off our cutting board. Keep breaking them up. Okay. Thank you. We're going to add those mushrooms there. Put these in here for Najee so he can start washing. So Oh, sure. Um, this one? Yeah. So put the container on first, reset the scale, and drop it on top. I don't know if it's all going to fit in there, but that's okay. Just back up. <clears throat> are quite dirty which is great that you we're gonna break them apart so people will eat bok choy and not break it apart but the problem is they really can get very dirty in those little crevices and you can like power wash them and so on and so forth but if you don't necessarily need it like the other thing you could do just to show you if you don't want to break it apart like that you could just cut it in half and then try to wash in there or you could even cut it into a quarter and really get more access to wash into those smaller ways that'll help too if you want but um for this recipe i'm just separating them out so 
we'll just have some well, some like that but I would like them just to have nice little pieces so they can cook a little faster anyway I wouldn't do that. No. I feel like you're boiling the the dirt into it. No, I mean honestly, it's probably cleaning it. It's probably the That's same thing. Yeah. Take it out of that I think the time it's gonna take to boil water and all that stuff and cook it, and then you're rinsing it again. It's just it's probably gonna be overcooked at some point. All right, where are we at? Look, it would look like we have about. 400, okay, about 500. We're gonna have a little bit more. The bok choy looks so fresh. Yes, it does, Mama. I'm just gonna keep. There you go. So you can't see it, but we are at 562 grams of bok choy. And I know. Mr. Najee is going to tell us all about that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 562 grams of bok choy. Let's see how many calories that is. I'd be surprised if it's over 120. I'm washing off my cutting board because we have plastic and dirt on it. So I just want to make sure we just kind of keep everything clean. Smart. A lot of volume, my friend. So now I'm just gonna be back there washing that bok choy. You'll hear him in the background scrubbing and dubbing, which is great. So now we're gonna get some of the last things chopped up and then we're gonna actually be able to get started cooking. Do you ever use the really small bok choy? They are about half that size. Absolutely, that's in fact our favorite. And those are, yeah, the baby bok choy's. Technically, those those are considered baby bok choy, I think, because bok choy is actually quite large. Right, yeah. They got the Shanghai bok choy. They got so many. I actually bought those Shanghai uh, chips. Bok oh, yeah, the bok choy chips. Those are really tasty. Yeah, those are good. They all look different. Distinctly. So I, had to, I had to get a, I had to have a, a wine sip break. All right, so let's take a look at our oyster mushrooms we have here. Yeah, that's one thing about this. You got to make sure it's coming like this. Very dirty, right? Yeah, it's got in the dirt. All right, so this actually looks great. I'm not going to cut it. Good too, looks good. Like that. I'm just trying to make sure all the king oysters look like what I'm okay with eating. You gotta be careful with mushrooms. Sometimes just gotta check. Check, 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 check. Mom, you like mushrooms, right? My mama loves mushrooms. What am I talking about? She's a The king is looking good too. H Mart has mushrooms and a great variety. They really do. Guys, in case you didn't know, my mom used to um, have a catering and meal planning service that she did really, really, really well with. So she knows a lot about this. I'm actually pulling out my, um, my wood ears. 
because I forgot I wanted to kind of chop these up. They actually can become quite crunchy, so I want to... Really, baby? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now nah, she's hum uh, humming back here. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm just going to do a rough chop for these. Nothing special. Make sure everything is actually chopped up and pulled apart properly. Not leaving anything out there. Okay, great. So we're gonna go ahead and add these back to our mushroom medley. Add our king oysters in there. Get everything in there. <laughs> You're dodging. I'm so glad you're going to chop those. Yeah, they need to be chopped. Uh, I've just got distracted, actually. So here they are, chopped and ready. Here's all of our mushrooms. We're going to put this to the side. But before I put it to the side, I am going to add um, a little bit of seasoning to this so they can kind of just like stew in what I want them to stew in. So we're gonna add some garlic and salt. So here's some garlic powder. Mom, you were worried. <laughs> so we're gonna add in the garlic. Put that in there. We're gonna add in some salt. Personally, I feel like mushrooms taste so good. As long as you salt them, there's, you really can't go wrong. Salt and garlic. So I'm going to put these to the side now. Next up, garlic. So I have some peeled garlic already ready to go. I'm just going to smash a whole bunch of these and get them ready for our soup. I know you're thinking, well, damn, when are you going to stop? <laughs> when you least expect it, my friend. Because there could never be too much garlic. Why would I, stop? I, am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. You really just get kind of. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Nah, I'll stop. I like it. All right, that's our garlic. So I'm just going to go through and give it a rough chop. I love garlic. I like big chunky pieces of garlic. You don't have to have it like this if you ever make yourself a soup. Don't feel like you're not doing it right. I'm just insane. In the membrane. I got it from my mom. Got a lot of good stuff from my mama. Cooking, but wow. air, <laughs> intelligence, beauty, class, all of it. Ta da! Ta da! Great job, baby. So fresh and cooking. Great. So if I could just move this out the way. Alright guys, so it's time to start actually cooking something, right? 
So let's go ahead and get our mushrooms cooking. So that's gonna be the part that we wanna make sure we have correct. So I love garlic and ginger and fennel. I know, mommy. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is get some butter in the pan. Now she's gonna, of course, gonna want us to measure that. So I will do that on the top. We're gonna use this whole thing of butter for the whole soup, so. Whoa, I forgot to put zero. Twelve grams of nope. Hold on, there's a little bit more in there. Fourteen grams of butter. Eighty calories. Eighty calories. So I'm gonna put that right into the pan. We're gonna start cooking our stuff. Okay. Earth balance butter? Yes, that earth yeah, balance butter. Yeah. I don't know if I want to um, go ahead. So just to swivel over here. I'm gonna switch up the camera. Cool thing about the Build My Plants app, if it uh, adjusts for me right there, you can tap on the add for the feature so that you can weigh out whatever it is that you're going to be using. So this has a barcode right there at the bottom. So at the very top, let me see if we can cooperate with our brother. You can tap on this barcode scanner and it'll let you scan whatever you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the barcode. It's gonna happen really quickly. Like that. And it pulls up the exact calories. It says 80 calories right there. Y'all can see that. And I just tap on add. Add to dinner. So, so far, the dinner is with everything that we weighed out the mushrooms, the bok choy, and the earth balanced butter. A total of 311 calories. And this is for about four people so far. Mm -hmm. now, but we have this, more to do. Get this. Um, I've, I've spoke about this before. I'm not sure if everybody is um, an avid follower of the YouTube channel, but uh, mushrooms are actually really high in calories. It calories? Just, I'm sorry. Protein? <laughs> Thank you very much, bro. Yeah. They're really low in calories, but very high in protein. It's just that it's hard to eat a large amount of them to get a good amount of protein. But with all of these, we have 39 grams of protein, right? 39 grams of protein for 200 and, what would that be? 230 calories minus the butter. So 230 calories, 39 grams of protein. That's pretty solid. Fix, fix, fix. All right, so we're going to get some black sesame seeds to cook with our mushrooms. So we're going to measure that out because these do have calories to them. So we have, well, we're just going to say one gram because we don't need that much. We're going to say one gram of, it said zero, but I'm just going to say one. I'm going to get that in the pot first. So we're going to actually toast the sesame seeds, the black Sustenances. And fish out some of our thicker pieces of our oyster because it's a little harder than the rest. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna cut this one a little bit in half. Make sure we can get that going. Great. How are you feeling so far, babe? Pretty good. Pretty good. Specifically because uh, the calories. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, we can eat mushroom soup all the time. Well, you know, more food, 
food or protein, minimal calories. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. All right, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys moving around. You don't need to cook these too um, high simply because they'll start popping like popcorn. But you do want to make this kind of like a sesame oil. It's going to really help bring the flavors out. Uh, babe, can you grab me some cumin? Beautiful. I feel like I hear Nate right there, but I don't know if we're... All right. It should be a... Uh, oh, you got it. Let's go. All right, we're going to start with the oyster mushrooms right there. Honestly, we have some oyster mushrooms that we grew ourselves in the refrigerator, but I wanted to get the yellow oyster mushrooms in here. So here, we have a little bit of cumin in there. A little bit of salt. And we're going to get this... Moving around. This is cooking on medium to low. Medium, I should say medium is more fair. All right, that's cooking down pretty fast already. So I just wanted to give it a few seconds to kind of get in there first since it has a little bit of a harder base than the rest. But they are going to still be cooking in the soup. So let's just let that sit for a few moments. I have to go, but I can't wait to see the finished product. Okay, Mommy, thank you for coming and seeing us. It'll be in the virtual kitchen. We love ya. We love ya. Let's do the job in the city, working for the man every night and day. Wow. And I'm and keep on rolling, and I'm rolling. Hey, rolling. look how beautiful this looks. Oh, <laughs> just for seeing it? No, it it looks good. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and add the rest of our mushrooms in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add more cumin to this as well. Add some salt. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to let this cook down and do its thing. Now, the other thing we need to be doing right now is getting our base ready, which the mushrooms are a big part of that base, but we need to start getting some flavors melding together. What you do? I saved it in the end of the day. But it didn't save it. I'm uh, on YouTube. I wanted to make it some mushroom soup. I'm trying to make it a real top down. I want to try to make it a real top I'm going to cook this down because these will cook down. Make sure we have a good flavor in there. Mm. Add some salt. I'm gonna try the wood here. It's not ready, but it already tasting pretty good.
All right, so from our garlic, I'm gonna add a little bit of that garlic into this so we can get those flavors going. Beautiful. So now we're going to go ahead and put this mix into a, um, a box or a container and then we're going to start making our soup. You might be thinking, oh no, it's not ready. It's not. I want to eat it like this. But we are going to still be cooking it. We don't want it to overcook. Right, babe? I I'm going to add a little bit more cumin to this. The cumin helps to really bring out meaty flavors. So that's the goal there. Let's go ahead and get this in there. Smells delicious, doesn't it, babe? Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just move the mushrooms to the side. And we're gonna start off with our soup. We're gonna use a little bit of um, olive oil. You can also use butter. We actually used all of our butter, so that's it for that. What the, I can't stand what y'all do. Look at this. There's no olive oil in here. Why, is it, why? I'm oh, so upset. Hey, nobody uses that but you. That's not true. That's very true. I would never do that. It's not my thing. You that's... know I don't use oil. No. So, if it wasn't me, it wasn't you, I'm saying it wasn't me. So, let's just leave it at that. Okay. All right. So, let me go ahead and use a different oil, which is an extra version of olive oil. We have three grams here. I'll go ahead and turn this on to medium. Three grams. I like using the cap because it just helps me to know, like, if I don't, ha if I can't measure, at least I always know what this cap represents for me. It's always less than five grams. So, so we're going to start off with that and let that oil get a little hot. We're going to go ahead and Fry our garlic just a little bit. We're gonna add in some other things. While it's happening, I'm gonna have Najee wash our pea tips. So we actually have some pea tips we wanna add to this dish as well. And pea tips are really delicious. They're like a, a spinach almost, right, baby? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? That gotta be something on Amazon for this cleaning process. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna clean anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and add, turn this down to about medium to low, mostly low, and get our garlic in there. We don't want to burn the garlic necessarily, but we do want to toast it. Now, Time to get some other things going that's going to be important. We're going to use a soybean paste. 
a vegan soybean paste to help get some flavors going. Using the oyster mushroom stuff in here. Oh, let's just put that around. We're gonna measure out this soybean paste so we know exactly what we're using. And on here, 25 calories per serving, and a serving is 18 grams. So we're just gonna. Smoking? Yes. Okay. That's 13 grams. That's 21 grams of soybean paste. <laughs> so we have our garlic in here with a little bit of olive oil, right? Three grams of olive oil. I actually didn't measure our garlic, I forgot. That's why I need you here, baby. We're going to go ahead and add in this 13 or 21 grams of soy paste. And directly to our pot. Now we're going to go back to zero and we're going to get our soy sauce in here. Low sodium soy sauce. I don't like it too salty. It's just not fun. What, what is that? Soy sauce. How much? I don't know yet. I'm not done. All right, let's see. We are get, let's get to 50 grams. There we go, 50 grams of soy sauce, of low sodium kikoman. We're gonna add that right to the pot. We're also gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. We're gonna add about five grams. And for this sesame oil, you get every gram in there. Okay. This is creating our veggie broth. This smells magnificent. Doesn't it? Alright, and what else did you add? What was that taste or whatever you said? Soybean paste right here. We used 21 grams. 21 grams. So we're mixing this all in together. The last thing we're going to add in, or not the last, but supposed to last will be our ginger. Here's our ginger. One teaspoon is five grams is zero calories. So let's get a little bit of that in there. How many grams of this? 21. And we're gonna go ahead and add that in, the ginger. And get that in there. And what was that? Ginger. How much? Four grams. So you see this paste that we, not paste, but you know this mini sauce we have here. So now what we're gonna do is fill up our bottle, our this with some water, and we can start making a soup base. All right, there we are with our soup. We're gonna turn this up to medium now that we have that in there. We're gonna go ahead and add in all our shallots that we had. Did you wanna measure these shallots? Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Let's do that. Hey, baby. I'll move this stuff out your way. While now she's getting that measured, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting our other things together. We have some more things to be chopping. So we're gonna get our red jalapenos chopped up. Ooh, hi baby. You just use this one. You need to answer the sink? So we're getting this, this is actually going to be up on like high-ish, not all the way high, but pretty high. Our system for the stove is in numbers, like digitalized. So we have it on seven out of 10. Like 70% or medium high. Yeah, closer to high, but definitely like medium high. So when is chopping that? I'm going to show something right fast. So we can direct our attention right here. All right. So you may run into the situation where you're cooking, where you're already going to put something in a bowl, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't really want to take it out, and then put the bowl on top, and then put the food back in there. So if you have multiple of the same container that's the same size, what you can do is just put the other container there, let the cow or let the grams add up there, reset it so that it can count for that amount, whatever that bowl is, and then when you take it off, it's gonna go negative. So now when you put this on there, it's only going to count for the amount of grams that are in these shallots so or whatever the food that it is that you weigh that. So quick tip, just move That's a great tip, actually. Mm -hmm. like That's a great tip. Oh, wow. Thanks. Welcome. I mean, you've probably seen me a million times, but I still think it's a great tip. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and add in. You do not need to. This is this is a step you could skip, unless you're me. Well, <laughs> red jalapenos. Red jalapenos. Yeah, I just like I just felt they were more aesthetically pleasing. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. So I'm keeping these pretty big. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our shallots that Naja just measured. How many were there? Great question. Put them back up. Oh! <laughs> uh, Glad I didn't do it. Huh? 194. Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> Great question. Put those back. <laughs> All right, so we're getting those jalapenos in there. We're gonna go ahead and put in our shallots. It's a lot of shallots, by the way, but that's what I like. Is our snow pea tips ready? Yep. Okay. Even though we're chilling, we're just waiting to be utilized. So we're going to let these flavors melt together. I'm going to take my spoon and give it a taste. I'm expecting it needs a little salt. I'm expecting it might need a little um, sesame oil, but I'm going to give it some time to come together. Ooh, okay, we, we get in there, we get in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is add a little more soy sauce to that actually. Where's the soy sauce, here it is. Right behind you, baby. Is this stuff garbage? Yeah. You measured that already? The snow peas? I'm going to measure out some more soy sauce. Then, okay. Can you add that to our recipe, please? How much was that? 52. How cool our shallots look in here, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, baby. 
Y'all should have seen the dance I just did. We're gonna put those in at the very end. Good. Anything that's green, put in late. <clears throat> so this is just gonna cook right now. While this cooks, um, maybe Naja can show you where we're at with the My Fitness Pal, and I'll start cleaning up a little bit of what we got wait, going wait, on. Wait, 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 what? Go by plants. Oh, okay. It is a better version of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> My fitness pal. Well, you ain't got to repeat it. Probably, no one probably even heard it. Mm. So, so far, calorie rise. That's you might want to do on that one. one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and change our angle. All right. Over here, calorie wise, we're at. 581 calories with 58 grams of protein. Let me put that back up so y'all can see it. Uh, focus, focus. There we go. See that at the top right there? 500, oops, 581 calories, 58 grams of protein. Now keep in mind, it will be much less calories. It's just that we're using the soy sauces and the earth balance, vegan butter, and all those things. Um, but this is really, really solid as far as... How many calories is it? Uh, 581. And again, this is for four servings. Yeah. Probably more than four servings when we get done with this. And that we are keeping in mind that the servings, that can be based off of how we want to work out. So that can be if you have four people, a family, or if you're making this as a meal prep, that can be for four days. Right, so you so, divide that 500 by four. Right. How many calories is it? Which is basically... Like a hundred and let's say thirty-five, roughly. For a Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, so back to here. We're gonna start adding some of our mushrooms. I'm not gonna add all of them. We're gonna add some. So we want to make sure those mushrooms really get into the flavor of our broth. Look at how pretty that looks. Look, baby. It's gonna look even better when we get our greens in there. Okay, I'm gonna save this for the end so we make sure we don't have everything a little too cooked. Next shot. And now we're gonna slowly start adding in our bok choy, but we're gonna give it some time. We don't wanna rush everything just because we're on live, because that's what happens sometimes. A little com committed. Let's go ahead and take a taste. Oh, wow, I forgot about the bok choy. This is gonna be huge. It's gonna mm. be a lot of soup. This Let me see. Yeah, a little bit more soybean paste. No pizza. Did you add that? Okay, so can you tell me how many times this will be? 32 grams, I think it's 18 plus 18, so about 50 gram, fifty calories. Okay. We need to get a little more flavor into our soup. I don't know if I want to use all of that. So I'm going to do it in increments. So I'm going to add a little bit more of our soybean. Now she's adding that in so we know exactly what we're at. Okay, so we've only added in half of that so far. 
We're gonna let that mix in and then see if we need the other 16. How many grams was it? It was 32 total, but right now I just took 16 of it to see how that tastes. We might not end up needing it, but I just want to make sure we have a nice flavor. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the bok choy. As soon as I took a look at this. No, I'm going to add the rest of this so I can taste in there. Definitely can do with it. I'll let that do, do what it do, baby. Okay. So let's go ahead and add in some of the bok choy. You might wonder, why is she adding it in like that? Because I want the stems to cook faster than the leaves, if possible. So I'm going to actually add it to the outer corners like so. I'm going to turn this low and low and slow. We might not actually need all this bok choy, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared if you want it all. Right, baby? Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. That's what the man said. This might look silly, y'all, but trust the process. Baby, are you watching this? I'm gonna use just that for now and see how that does. Now it's gonna come and help clean up my cutting board for me. Mm -hmm. So, good people, as Rena explained, the purpose of this is to cook the roots, the stems, this piece down here, without overcooking the leaves because that takes a little bit longer to cook. So we're gonna just let that do its thing right there. And uh, just move some stuff out the way. What else, wait, what else do we have over here? Well, um, can you do me a favor, baby, and just rinse this one off and then I can start bringing stuff back over. Cause I think we're almost done with, in regards to um, things we need. Awesome. Sure. So I have, um, a chili powder we're gonna use. Where'd my spoon go. Here it is. A chili powder we're gonna use to get some spice into this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that in there. We've turned the soup down to about uh, a three, which is pretty low. So I'm gonna turn it down to like 3.5. Turn this down and we're gonna start adding this in to adding in the leaves, I should say. Now, another way you could do this um, is just to steam the bok choy, but we um, didn't feel like doing that today. <laughs> so now we can get the leaves in there because I spent a few minutes just getting those stalks cooked down, which works for me. So there were some alternatives. We're gonna have everything that you can use, or not 
mushrooms. I was trying to think, well, what could they do instead? I mean, you could use um, portobello mushrooms, white button mushrooms. So let's say you, you want those. You don't have as you know as many exotic type of mushrooms. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And you also could just do it without mushrooms and just do more veggies and tofu instead. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you want as a meat substitute to make it more fun for you and, and your family. So it's whatever makes the most sense for you guys. Yeah. Um, the main thing is to enjoy a healthy, low calorie, big volume soup where you feel like you're really getting a lot out of it. Use this as a baseline. Use this as like a foundation, an outline, and replace as needed. Everybody don't have the oyster mushroom, but that don't mean that you can't make the soup. You can mm -hmm. just swap with whatever you do have available at your local grocery store. You don't got bok choy. Like Brandon said, just make some adjustments. Use some spinach. Right. right. Whatever it is that you do have. Um, or try to experiment go outside of the normal day to day or week, week grocery store. Look for some Asian grocery stores. African grocery stores. Just yeah, that's a great point. I mean, if you keep going to the, the local Jewel or Tom Thumb or Kroger and Walmart, you're not going to really get, be able to expand your palate as much. So. It does make things a lot easier when you, you try new stuff. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and add in our snow pea tips now. I'm going to put those right on top because this should be like pretty, pretty close to the last thing you need in there. So we're just going to let those sit on top and kind of like cook like so. These cook very quickly. So we're going to get that in there. On top of that, I'm going to add some Thai basil for some really nice fun, fragrant flavor. And now I'm gonna just start getting some of the last things together. So we're gonna add some um, green onions on top to our individual bowls. I'm gonna get those chopped up for us. Maybe you wanna get some bowls for us? I'm gonna cut off the stem. I'm actually growing onions, green onions in the back. Now you saw them earlier. Go ahead and dip this snow pea tips in there. Turn this up a little bit. You'll notice we really didn't use a lot of seasonings. We're just letting the seasonings on its own do its thing. And look how the snow pea tips have already cooked on their own just from being in there. See, babe? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep Najee engaged. <laughs> All right. Let's clean up some of this. Tastes them good. Now I'm gonna see if I wanna add this wine to it. Can you open this for me? 
add a little bit of garlic on top of that. I said a little bit, but obviously that was a lot of bit. Add a little bit more chili powder to that. And we're going to turn off the heat now. Great. Can I get a spoon? For us to get all this out, this yumminess out. There's like a ladle in here, I think. I got it. And this, my friend, is why I called it a mushroom veggie broth because, or soup, because it has a lot of greens in it, which is what I want. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our bowls and add a little bit of our mushrooms at the bottom of that. This one will be for Nosh because he loves eating some mushrooms. A little salt right there. Use our tongs to get some of those greens in there. All right, that looks nice and pretty. There we go. We're going to go ahead and add in just a little bit of these green onions with the jalapenos. Top it off with a little bit of black sesame seed. And give Nachi a spoon to go with it. You ready, baby? Mm -hmm. You want to put the camera on? You can take a seat. Enjoy your feed. for you. Let me go ahead and I'm going to start making mine while you try that out. <clears throat> All right. Adjust a can. Uh. Want to try it over? Are oh, you going to try it over there? Mm -hmm. Great. You put it on you? Oh, I wanted to see you playing in it.
<laughs> There's so many different flavors in there. <laughs> now you swallow a little something spicy. I'm sorry, baby. But this might come get you in the butt. Man, I'm over here eating mine. I'm really enjoying it. Um. I think I'm gonna add a little, maybe a teensy teensy bit of soy sauce to mine. What I love most about this dish is how fresh it tastes. It tastes like I'm just eating freshness. I'm also gonna add the rest of this to that. Ooh. You good, babe? I'm back. <clears throat> I think I want mine spicier though. I'm gonna add some more of this Sheesh. Thai chili. This Thai, uh, 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 <laughs> this Thai chili. What? I couldn't see where it was going. That's why you have it there so we can see. Let me add that right there. You want some more or is that, that was enough for you? More what? Out of the spice. Girl. <laughs> she tried to get your boy. Oh. No, 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 try with try with them, baby. I'm not they can't see me. Mm, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? You take a picture of it? <clears throat> oh, that's not helpful. Hmm? That's not helpful. All this work. Supposed to go in a virtual it. kitchen. Try with that You're not gonna have a picture for it. <clears throat> wow. I'm gonna make one for uh mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. mm. it's so warming and good. Ooh. It's not really my type. That's the part I think I like about it. It's not really my type of soup that I would make. Usually I make creamier. That's my type of soup. I love creamy soup. <clears throat> yeah. You like oh, thick, yeah. thick soup, huh? You like your soup like you like your woman. Thick 
too. <laughs> See what happens. Mmm, this is so good. The mushrooms are great. Can you focus on me? Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was I was with you. I just thought you wanted to sing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming right on time to soup. She ran off like y'all not gonna hear me choke. I'll be dang. <clears throat> With camera. You got two angles for a reason. Why don't you dad come here? Well no, if you try and he don't like it, he'll be like, nah, <laughs> not my side. It's very sesame strong, which I love sesame, but it is one of those tastes that you have to like. I don't know, it tastes great to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, babe, rate it. Not in comparison to all soups and creamy soups. More like an Asian soup. Mmm. <clears throat> That's win also, huh? Sounds like a win for me. That's also like come up from a, a biased person that really loves creamy soups. So if we add some coconut milk, you would have been happy. Yeah, if we had the <laughs> veggie protein broth or like if you had a coconut milk or something like that, and, and yeah, it'd have been like ten stars out of five. Because <laughs> um, everything is good. The veggie's good. It's just like you know. You're yearning for that. Yeah. It's kind of high end with spice. Like, if I don't have spice, it can't really be the best. Yeah. It's like, I need. And that's, that's me judging it outside of my comfort zone. Like, my comfort zone is like that. Like, when I think of soups and stuff, it's specifically that. Otherwise, I wouldn't want it. But this is, this is good, though. Like, when you said judge it based off of an Asian soup, then I was like, okay, not thinking of myself. So, I know a lot of people don't actually enjoy it. Oh my god. Like my mom would literally die for this. I'm gonna add some seaweed to mine because I love seaweed. Yeah, I'm just gonna add. Take that we're done. Mm -hmm. Gonna share a sheet? Sure. Alright, good people. We are good to go. Shout out to Stephanie, Bendy, and Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama Chi coming through. 